Hello again. Today we're talking about vibrato on the cello. In the first video, we talked about the motions that we need to use to get our best vibrato on the cello. Before we're going to be able to apply those motions to the fingerboard, we are going to need to talk a little bit about the way our left hand is interacting with the, the string generally. And so that's what this video is going to be about. This is important because our vibrato is not going to work the best it can. It's not going to work optimally unless we are using the strong muscle at the top of our arm to turn our arm into the string. If we are using the small muscles in our, our uh, hand that are designed for dexterity and speed of the fingers to get the string down by squeezing, pushing, or if our, especially if our elbow's low, pulling, then we are creating tightness in the arm, creating tightness in the way that our arm is interacting with the string that the vibrato will have to fight through and which will limit and tighten our motion in ways that are gonna make our vibrato not sound very good. So, um, so we gotta use uh, the top of our arm to turn into the string. The reason this is complicated and why we have to spend some extra time working on it even as we become advanced cello players, is that the angle is extremely important. If I'm gonna turn the arm in uh, to the string, I have to align all of the architecture of my entire arm so that that turning motion, this giant circle that I'm making here, is going to be going this way straight into the string and, th and at the correct angle for each string and in each position. And uh, so it's, it's, uh, it's a, precise alignment that we need, and that alignment needs to constantly be changing as we play. Um, one of the easiest ways to see that you are using the arm to turn into the string as opposed to squeezing, pushing, or pulling is if you can use that arm by adding a little extra to squish these knuckles at the base of your hand called bass joints into the, uh, towards, the, uh, towards the fingerboard. So my, my students sometimes call these squishies. Uh, you can see it pretty well, hopefully, at this angle, where these these uh, joints all squish towards the fingerboard, and that's going to have the effect of curving my fingers more. So in order for us to do this, we're going to have to play right on the fingertips, and uh, I think the best way to do it is just to practice in a D major scale, half notes, do the squish in the middle of the note. pushing, pulling, or squeezing, you will not be able to get the squish. Um, so um, it is it is definitely something worth practicing. The other thing you're going to notice is that the finger, the weight has to shift from finger to finger when you're doing the squishes. So I had to shift the weight to the second finger and shift it to the fourth finger to make a squish occur on any of those notes. That is something that is going to be super important for vibrato too because when we do vibrato, I have to shift the weight from finger to finger if the vibrato is going to work. All right, so practice that scale, nice slow notes with a squish in the middle, and when you feel like you've got that, come on back and we'll talk about the next thing.